Okay, in this video, let's take a look at Jian Un Lee 6. Interesting golf swing, a little different from the other ones out there. So can't wait to look at this video and do the analysis here. So let's take a look. Just a quick reminder, if it is your first time to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. So let's take a look here. So great set of position. And once again, a player who works very hard in her technique, trying to become a better ball striker, at times putting really, really well statistically. So let's just see here this swing. So up the plane beautifully. And some of the old swings, we could see the club face in a little different position at the top. So a uh, pretty upright swing like some players on the tour. Some of the players from Thailand get the club up higher as well. Club face position wise, if you see here, the club face very square at the top. Now in recent years, the face would be much more open, which I'm sure caused some problems at the bottom coming through impact. So much more square club face, a bit of a cast and steepening move that over the top. Very interesting look, almost like an old David Tom's look with the thing that cast out and get steeper, but wider. So that combination can work to go steeper and wider, wider meaning it's moving toward the camera. And now from here, for someone who's that steep and out away from the golf, the plane or the shaft plane, this club is going to go crazy left on the way through. And at this point here, you think there's no way her hands will get anywhere near the shaft plane on the way through impact. But here they come right back down. Now, sometimes the club doesn't make it all the way back down to the plane and the club ends up going, you know, straighter down the line this way than it does left. And that causes some club face control problems. But here's that move to the left. We'll see on some other clips too, just how far left she can plane it out especially with the irons to get that ball going right down her target line. This is a little different view, not exactly down the target line, but I uh, chose this clip really to show just how left this club is going to go this way, which will give her that club face control she's looking for. So once again, up to the top, club face improving. This one, not quite as square as the hybrid shot. And then as she comes down, there's that over the top sort of cast wide and then now down to the left watch the hands go so quickly to the left there and by sending the handle to the left you get club face control as long as you're not swiping across it like slicers do just completely from the outside good players tend to get the club working along the plane halfway down and this is a swing that because it's so high at the top and then working its way to the left she can hit a lot of different shots. She can hit them high, she can hit them low. She has a lot of variety in her ball striking. A low player who simply swings it around this way and back down tends to be, can sometimes be a great ball striker, but tends to be a lower ball hitter. Now for this one, about a 130 yard shot into the pin. Once again, up the plane beautifully, club in good balance. A slight steepening move, but then staying in posture and working the hands right back down to the plane. There you can see impact exactly on the swing plane. And there comes that club, two or three frames in a row, directly along the plane line, exiting parallel to the plane, totally in posture, look at that. And this ball in there about four feet. One issue that you can get into with open club faces is if you're hitting wedge shots, you can get that face open and get it coming in cutting across with her move going this way to the left and it just the ball sort of shoots up the club face you end up getting a very vertical takeoff on the ball and in this case that over the top steep and then the face open it's going to like I said, it slices right underneath the ball the ball shoots up the club face and it ends up short right and so if you do struggle with your wedge play you'll notice wedge players keep the face very square almost shut throughout the swing and they will not be coming in steep at all. A good wedge player is going to find a way to bring that club along this plane very shallow. So the ball will then chart or take off lower and not higher, which gives you a better chance to get the ball over to your target. The wedge has so much loft on it. You don't need loft. You don't need to try to hit the ball high. What you need to do is have a swing that actually helps you hit it lower for more control. If we take a look at a driver swing from this week, which is July 2021, great setup, 
tall posture, very relaxed looking. Then up the shaft plane on the takeaway, pretty common. Get that club up the plane. A lot of players very, very well aware where the plane is. And then at the top, lifting up to the top plane here. So much like some of the other players on the LPGA Tour these days, that left arm working up quite high. So we call it sort of a combo swing. Some people call it a hybrid where the club works up in a high plane or left arm plane on the top and then drops drastically as they side bend moving forward and down to actually plane the club out closer actually to the green plane line or shaft plane. And the advantage of that swing is your ability to hit different types of shots. So you have more variety. You tend to get a very stable club face to impact, but you also tend to get the ability to hit the shot higher or lower. You're not sort of bound to just one trajectory. So here's that left arm plane up on the shoulder line or shoulder plane line, dropping down and then through. Now a driver from a different angle, we can see some, some of that shifting of the plane at the top goes up steep, little that over the top cast move. And even with that lower body still driving this swing, you see the legs and the hips working properly and the left exit due to the posture change. So as this posture drops, as she goes through, that allows the hands to work left enough to control the club face. Sometimes she doesn't drop as much. Sometimes she's a little quicker in transition. Then the club flies down the target line. The club face becomes unstable. She misses it right and left. But when she's in rhythm, up at the top there, and exits left, it is game on. Lastly, let's look at another wedge shot. This one went a little left, not way left, but a little left. And let's see if we can see what happened here. Now we'll see a little different club face angle. Then with the long swings, we see a more open face. We did see this with the other wedge shot as well. And there's that change of direction where it's very open and steep and the club coming down on a plane that's steeper. You then have to close the face at some point. This one overclosed a little bit, not a lot, to go a little left. But I have a feeling over time, if she can work that club plane better, it will really help her. Club face a little squarer and shallowing it out. Sorry about the quick video there, but if this thing will start to come down shallower, she will get more control of it, that plus the square face. Okay, well, that'll wrap it up for this video of Lee Six. Let's see if she can keep it going this week and get another victory with a unique move. Unique but amazing to control that club face so well through impact when she is rhythm. And once again, quick reminder, if it is your first time to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. And we'll see you in the next one.